Right, hello my friends, welcome to Secrets You Missed in our top five most viral videos last year. This is part three, where me and Mikey are gonna walk you through, lift the curtain on our world's smallest car video, and also creating the greatest YouTube collection of all time. You know, I would say P50 video might be my favorite video from last year. What do you think? I really enjoyed it. It well, was good. Well, you said Vietnam I, yeah, top. Yeah, I liked Vietnam. Yeah. We bought one of these tiny P50s, basically they're like from the 60s. If you want to buy a real one, they're like 100 grand. People like remade them. Ours was 18,000 pounds, but that's not our one. So we bought it like weeks before we planned to do the shoot. And basically a few days before we're supposed to film it, it turns out registering a new car, that takes like six weeks. The company you built it knew the whole time, oh, we're going to plan to film with it on like this Monday, told us on the Friday beforehand. And um, so Alex, the lovely man who came with us and had done the kind of trip before. This was Alex's car. Shout out Alex, lovely man. Yep. No way that video happens without him. Oh yes, this first night looks so fake. But the GoPro footage just corrupted. You can see it start to corrupt. Like it kind of yeah. gets glitchy. And then past that, it just corrupted the whole file. I don't have the GoPro footage. It's you don't have the GoPro footage no, anymore? No, So we got the car, right? And we went to Donington Park. And basically we did a challenge, which was like real life versus virtual lap challenge. So basically I went and did a lap around this circuit and we got Mr. Lando Norris uh, to set a time virtually. The thing is, right? This is a bit of a secret. Lando hadn't actually done his time when we were doing ours. Three minutes and 47 seconds and shit it's a real shame and i'm like oh no i lost i lost or whatever we also recorded a version of me going yeah i won because we had no clue what his time actually was what we did to kind of give me like a benchmark like a reference time of what would be a good time uh we got mr jimmy broadbent he set a little time in the sim for us just to give me something to aim for two one go oh i just didn't move <laughs> It was very ambitious, to be honest, to record yeah. one where we thought you might win. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. On the way up, like on the final stretch to Newcastle, I was fuming at the end of this because it's like, oh, it's it, what, 50 hours and it's come down to the last minute. I'm like, everyone's going to think this is fake. But no one really did. It was quite funny because when you finished, yeah. you were so concerned that it might look fake that you considered faking it to make it look more real. <laughs> You're like, oh, should we do it and reset the timer? So I had like five minutes. Yeah, that's yeah, more believable so, yeah, than what actually happened. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the car park, right? Yeah. There's a little road that goes down here. James and Mikey are at the end of the road, whereas I just like, I'm here. So I thought I'd won, but you also thought we you'd thought won. We won. This is footage of us waiting for you just to prove that we were there. Oh. For, like for the right. whole hour yeah. waiting for you to get there. <laughs> like we didn't fake it. You didn't just turn up yeah. straight after us. We were waiting. Now, my friends, I've just checked and it turns out there was one video that we've missed in all of this, our charity match short. I already did a video breaking that down, but one update, since being violently humbled that day, Mikey has had me in the gym and I've been watching what I consumed. I genuinely right? Uh, today's fantastic sponsors, Huel, have become a part of my daily routine. So my friends, this is Huel Black Edition and it's a perfectly balanced plant-based meal with 26 vitamins. Ooh. I am horrendous for cooking and I always end up like snacking or ordering a takeaway purely because whenever I'm working I never kind of want to pull my head up and like go and make a meal you know it just takes away from valuable reaction video making time and that is where this is great so in here is a 100% nutritionally complete meal it's plant-based and gluten-free if you're that way inclined and has a whopping 40 grams of protein so not only does it you know solve like the taking an hour to cook something eat it and then clean it up it also makes it much easier easier for me to consume the stuff that I want to be consuming. And it kind of goes without saying, it's a far more affordable alternative to food on the go. So if you fancy it, I personally recommend the cookies and cream flavor. So with your first order, you receive a free shaker, a Huel t-shirt and a guide to get you started. So get amongst it, get it checked out. Link is in the description. Back to the video. They are about 45 to an hour. So the guy talking here is one of the producers Producer James. who was giving us updates on how far away yeah. you guys thought you yeah. were compared to where we were. 45 to an hour? 45 to an hour? He's only got an hour and nine minutes. What happened? They, they must have slowed down. Hopefully some sort of head-on <laughs> collision. <sighs> Funny few days. Oh my God, white thunder. He didn't make it in any of the video really, did he? He just, uh, just at the end, that was it. Yeah. But I do have white thunder footage. Okay, good, uh, all right, good. I've just received a fantastic text. 
I'm going to have to give this great news to James Marriott. James Marriott. Mikey Lamb. So I've received a text. All right, fucking Love Island. They say they're about an hour away. What time is it? How long have they got left? They've got 55 minutes left. Which I'm hearing is a possibility that these two babies and this old man. We <laughs> got <laughs> <laughs> <The> cheeky. <laughs> We were convinced that you were going to come down the road where we were, so we set traps for you to hopefully yeah. prevent you from finishing. This is us preparing for our traps. That is so shit. No wonder that didn't make it in the video. So this is when you turn oh, up, all right. and this is us being convinced that we had beaten you. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to make it! He's not going to make it! Seven, three, two, two, one! <laughs> <laughs> we set up banana peels past the finish line. <laughs> what we did was cause a cyclist a slight inconvenience <laughs> with those banana peels. <laughs> How good is that? that is yes. Me and James had a side plot when mm -mm. we had created a character for our yeah. driver who we called White Thunder. And he was instructed to just basically not speak the whole time. <laughs> And we just annoyed him yeah. for 50 hours, and by the end of it, he wanted to kill us, I think. Because he was, he was a lovely man. Right? Right. He was a nice bloke. Yeah. I bumped into him uh, three or four months after the video at Silverstone at the F1. I just like bumped into him. He's just walking along. He's like, oh, White Thunder. I know his actual name. I was just like, oh, <laughs> lovely bloke. No, I don't think he's going to make it. I don't know. He just put on sunglasses. It's, it's cloudy. What's your name? We shall call him. <laughs> what, 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 shall, what shall we call him? The Flash. The Flash. Has he the been flash. exposing yeah, himself yeah. to children? <laughs> white lightning. Or white thunder. White thunder. White thunder. Because you can hear him. Yeah, you can't, 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 can't hear him at all. <laughs> You and James are a perfect pairing because you both find your own jokes so yeah. fucking funny. This is how tragic it looks from, yeah, from our car. So Look at that. Small. That's the thing. It's like, that was literally, it's like fiberglass. So honestly, if someone hit me, I'm yeah. dead. Yeah. 100%. Oh yeah, so during the video, we were in a convoy, obviously, mm -hmm. and me and James were at the back of this convoy, so mm -hmm. you couldn't see the amount of cars that were behind, behind us it, during yeah. this journey. Oh, oh my god. god. Look at, Look at there, that! Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll pause it there. Do you not have that fucking footage? What, from my... The one you were just shooting there? I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, the viewfinder looks great. It's a good job it's not just a what two-man team anymore, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because we'd lose half the fucking footage. And then we try... I, oh, this car pisses me off. Like, we wanted to put it on a set in the office, just over there, and it wouldn't fit in the lift by about that much. So where is it? It's just in storage now. We can't fucking sell it. That's so sad. This bit uh, is really good that unfortunately got cut out of the video, but me and James are really proud of this. So. I, I bet it's dog shit. We thought you were very hungry, so we got you some, some food. Right. This looks quite good. We've got Terry's Chocolate Orange Minis. Uh, mini shortcakes. Uh, short, shortcake, yeah. Oh, I see what you're doing here, yeah. A mini moisturizer. Mini oh, moisturizer. thank you, thank you, that's good. And of course, you know, obviously mini eggs. Mini eggs, yeah, mini yeah, eggs. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Anything else tiny in here? Uh, oh, I think your cock's in here somewhere. Oh, no, <laughs> wait, no. <laughs> Now that's great content. <laughs> I can't believe that didn't make the cut. The accent down here is just like syllables, right? It's like, oh, can I get a Cornish pasty, please? It's just Mr. Krabs. Oh yeah, the walkie-talkie. Random people started talking to us on the walkie-talkie in in the car. What did we say? No. Is this us? That didn't sound like any of us. <laughs> is that someone else? Should we swap to other radio channels and see if we find anyone, or is that dangerous? Channel two. Got the Shing Dig on 2.8 uh, on the 405. Over. Channel five. I have lost my dog. Channel <laughs> We're going down! <laughs> Did that not make it in? That was good. To yeah, move, that was But funny, you just yeah. lose the pace in, like, to explain yeah. the storyline. It makes sense. That's why I'm glad that we're doing this. So I can show yeah, you it's your nice shit fucking jokes. These shit yeah. jokes, yeah. What road are we on currently, White Thunder? Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> you had enough white thunder get in there <laughs> he was such a great guy yeah. he just didn't say much but when he did it had meaning you know god i am so glad we abandoned will for mackies <laughs> i'm gonna get a 20 box large diet coke prize maybe some dip white thunder what you getting happy meal <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy just got laughed at the whole way up. So 40 chicken nuggets and um, a happy meal for a white thunder, please. <laughs>
there's stuff you might want to skip through. Oh it's my just God, me were, being yeah, drunk at a restaurant. We just basically, you had a three course meal, James wasn't drinking, so you just drank all of his. Yeah, I think it was a, a seven course meal. And they closed everything and it was just user with the kitchen, right? Yeah, yeah, it was just us in there. Was it awkward filming there? It looked very... It was It was quite tense. Yeah. Because the staff were hearing everything we yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. And obviously we were just giggling pretty yeah. much the whole time. They weren't sure what the dynamic was. Yeah. And they were like, what's going on? There's these two kids and, and there's one of them, like, old dude in sunglasses sitting at the table who isn't speaking. I don't think people saw James and said two kids. Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> He said, there's one kid and his gay parents. <laughs> How sober. much of there is this? It's like the tears of Will. <laughs> this one. <laughs> it's going to be really strong. It's like the regret of Will. <laughs> The regret of Will trickling right will. down your chin. What a shit Multiple challenge, Will. What a shit <laughs> challenge. <laughs> you thought this was a good idea, wasn't it? I'll save you. I'll save you. <laughs> this is good. So we got a drone shot and we told White Thunder, can you let us out our car doors? Yeah. Um, When we pull up. He goes to my car door and opens it. And then me and James both get out our car door. He goes to the other one. And then we just hear in the background, he just goes, fuck. <laughs> it's so good. I get out. <laughs> and then he goes to <laughs> Look and look oh, at him. You man. see the frustration. Why did we fucking use that? Because <laughs> no one would have done it. Because in the actual video, we didn't establish yeah, what Thunder was a character. Really was. So it wouldn't have been as funny, but because we knew him, <laughs> it's so, it was so good. Oh, yeah, your car couldn't reverse. So mm. we had to get you out of a couple yeah. situations. Oh, I forgot it snowed as well. That thing is not lasting much longer in these conditions, I'm no. telling you. I think he makes it. Like, I'd have a tingle in my balls if I knew I was going into the Maldives <laughs> in the next couple of weeks. Not the I'm not yet. getting the ball tingle. I'm not getting the infamous Maldives ball tingle. White Thunder, are you getting the ball tingle? <laughs> we broke him. We finally broke him. Would you like to hazard a guess if this lost or made money? I would like to assume it would lose money. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to guess. Five million views, 18 minute video. I think it's 18,000 pounds. It's not 18,000 pounds, it's 13,000 oh. pounds. But we take that. We definitely take that. However, we probably don't take that when you look at how much we spent on it. <laughs> 43,000. £769. One of the worst bits about this, right, in that Rolls Royce, we scratched one of the leather seats. Nobody knows who did it, right? Nobody knows who did it. That scratch right there, £5,000 to get the whole seat had to be upholstered or whatever. So yes, uh, good, good stuff. And then finally, this feels like ages ago now um our youtube museum our trade video maybe that's my favorite it was actually really good i thought it just doesn't feel like last year i think it didn't do as well as it should have i don't think i gave it a good enough title and thrown in that was the issue no. so basically if you're kind of newer to the channel or whatever i kind of put my foot in it a few years ago and said i want to do a video trading with like the audience. The problem with that is your content relies on the audience. So all I got back was like, oh, here's my fucking bottle of Fanta that I pissed in once, right? I said, I want to have like the greatest YouTube collection of all time. So we went for that angle here, right? End of 2020. We posted this video, start of 2022. We bought a Lamborghini, right? We also bought a Lamborghini for way more than it was worth for this title and thumbnail. That wasn't very good. Uh, <laughs> because they charged you up the ass because they because it was KSI's. So yeah, so it's this like guy- a collector's item. Right, this guy had this car, loved this car, didn't give a fuck that it was KSI's car. Didn't care, he kind of heard of it a little bit when he bought it. We basically traced it back through previous ownership, got rang up, loads of people found it, didn't want to sell it. I wanted to do it legit. I had to physically buy it, right? Because in my head, I bought KSI's Lamborghini was a great title, so I have to do it real. He came back to me with this price and it was astronomical, right? Like way more than this was worth. And we got it little bit down and just fucking did it and bit the bullet. Some people said that they thought it wasn't actually KSI's Lamborghini. Did you see oh, this? Oh yes! Because of the number plate at the end. That registration plate right there is the registration plate it came with when JJ bought it. The problem was we bought it off a guy and he put his private plate on it. Again, the fucking issue, the useless bastard DVLA take years to do everything. So we had to just sellotape it on the front. By the end of it, it looks like we faked it, right? If I'm watching that, I've got they've sellotaped the license plate on that they've gone on about, they faked it. We didn't, it was just the fucking DVLA it took ages so then we get, we took Nico's glasses and we gave him a fish. After the video, he said, I can't look after this. I said, safe, I suppose, you know, you give us our clip. So we took it back. Um, it just died, didn't it? 
<laughs> well, <laughs> I think it's impressive that we did this as a team of two. Yeah. You know, that's kind of good. Looking at the new videos where we have a team of six just, yeah. or seven. That is shocking <laughs> production for a four million subscriber <laughs> really channel is. as well. Yeah. The TGF guys, they gave you the proper childish hoodie. Yeah. The legitimate childish hoodie. And then Steven. Oh my God, Steven. We were planning on stiffing Steven. Right, so basically we had this Tesla from another video we'd made and it was like the big prize that we had to give away and trade with everyone else and the spin and it landed on Steven. Or well, I honestly thought, maybe I was wrong, that Steven just wouldn't accept. Yeah. So I thought, right, we stiff Steven, we give him a uh, baby Tesla, a kid's Tesla and we reinvest the money into this stupid Lamborghini that we'll buy in for the thumbnail and title. But the thing is, right, Steven was a step ahead. So the item we asked for Steven was his iconic How To Be Storms the jumper. And Stephen gave us uh, this jumper, um, but this isn't the actual one. And he only told me after I fucking had it framed that he just bought this this random Adidas jumper off Depop and gave it to us instead. So we were playing checkers and he was playing chess. Oh, the chaos I reveal. This was such a shit day. I've got the raw footage of that. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see. So you hated that. Oh, horrendous day. So basically with JJ, we spoke to him. I was like, can I just grab you for a part of a video? Day comes around. His reaction's so dead. He just didn't care. It did not like, care. Oh. So we traveled like an hour to this airfield, booked an airfield for a day. He just don't care. I've just managed to get my hands on something uh, of yours. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> it's the boy. We've added him. Wait, yeah, we bought it. What? Why are you, this? you what? Why are you... By this point, I'm going. Fuck, 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 fuck. I don't think he believed you. I don't think he believed it was his mm. actual Lamborghini. Why have you bought a Lamborghini for a video? Because KSI we. Yes. <laughs> so we just got to that. Have you got the raw footage? Yeah, do you want to Afterwards, say it? I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> so I'm like assembling like the YouTube Infinity Stones, like the most iconic items of YouTube's past. Right, and I've just, I've just managed to get my hands on something uh, of yours. <laughs> this is so awkward. It's the boy. We've added him. This is the stupidest thing. The stupidest decision. It's supposed to be the yeah part of the video. Bro, just don't give a fuck. I've been waffling about this video for two years, so it's a big way to end it. Anyway, thank you for your time. I'll uh, see you tonight. <laughs> In a bit. So dead! Horrendous! Horrendous! And then I had some fucking poker night at his that night and I was just like, he just thinks that was so dumb. And I was like, this has been this passion project that we've been on for a year and a half and he's just gone, why? <laughs> the feeling from that day was very dour. I think you did a, a big saving job in the edit there. In this. Mikey came into the office, right? When, when I first saw this, it was standard innovation. We bought KSI's Lamborghini and assembled the greatest collection of YouTube history the world has ever seen. So we made, we were making references about like Infinity Stones, the whole video. And basically in this collection, this greatest YouTube collection of all time, we had Jack, our friend, uh, Jack Sucks at Life, bring down PewDiePie's actual 100 million subscriber button. And the thing is either when it was getting sent to Jack or when the last guy had it, the red bit, it's got like a chip in it, which looks exactly like a fucking Infinity Stone. Oh, wow. what a fucking video. What an edit. It deserves more. When you first showed me that edit, I was I watched it like 10 times. It was good. 10 times. I right. definitely took it too far. Uh, cost and made. We've sold the Lamborghini since. Uh, we basically lost a little bit more than 50 grand on the Lambo. We lost that. We spent... <laughs> I've got... Okay. Uh, but we got it back because of the... Cause of the... <laughs> What? <laughs> there was a big outlay of cash that was over £200,000 to make that video come to life. We got money back from selling the Lambo. We probably lost 30 grand all in all with all we spent on fucking the Rolex, the Pokemon card going and hiring studios and stuff. 
for two points of a million views. Yeah. Anyway, how much did it make? I'm guessing twelve grand. No way, that makes twelve grand. I would just say say seven, eight, eight. eight. I, am I need to change. Do you want? If you're watching this, tweet me an idea for a thumbnail. I was thinking maybe changing the title to something about world's greatest YouTube collection, YouTube museum, and us next to PewDiePie's plaque uh, yeah. with a contrasting background. Up to you. Not yourself out. If you know, you know. Anyway, that is uh, everything you missed across all of our videos last year. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Watch the roads.